I think one of the fun things about my having people back here is that they look around and say, who does all this? And I do. And it's fun to have that little bit of recognition, not, not only for the food, which we try to keep really unique and a little bit different, and the yard, and, but you walk back here on any given day and there is just a peaceful feeling back here, no matter whether there's anybody else here or not. And I have had comment after comment after comment about the peacefulness of this little place. When Harold uh, handed me the contract, handed us the contract for the house, he said, this house has always been a welcoming, restful place where you just always laid down your burdens and I hope you'll keep it that way. He said, well, he said, I know you will keep it that way. And so that's Every time I walk back here, there is a peaceful feeling. <laughs> I've always said that I have three focuses in my life, and that's food, family, and flowers. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> I come by the flowers naturally. My grandma that I grew up with and loved, didn't have very many flowers, but she took really good care of the ones she had. I think that's where the love of all this greenery started, was with Grandma Lottie. The thing I like about the weddings is when I walk back here, and see people having a good time, relaxed and just enjoying themselves and uh, the camaraderie, the just the feeling of uh, being in a free place. There aren't very many places like this in Springville. These deep lots are a thing of the past. There are a few, there are probably maybe even a couple dozen of these old homes in Springville. I watch them occasionally and can tell when somebody moves in who cares because almost immediately they start fixing the windows and painting the doors and cleaning the brick and planting flowers. I think every once in a while that I have built the city a park, but they won't let me use it. <laughs> so. 